Howard, how are you doing? I'm not, well, I'm not going to ask you how you're doing. How, what about no, don't ask me because the last time I told you, to go screw yourself. <laughs> what, what's the hat say? Uh, Army. Got Army hat. Army heads. Anyway, we, folks, we came in this morning and we were talking and we don't have any, very few HO structures in stock. You know? Yeah, they're all so pretty much sold out. Mm. Yes, yeah, so and we were thinking, what what could we build? And I said to Howard, I said, you know, Howard, I need for my O-scale layout, I'd like to have a two-stall engine house that for one bay would swallow up an Allegheny, which would be about a 130-foot bay, and the other bay for smaller locomotives. But I really like the flavor of the John Allen engine house, you know, the two-stall engine house. And so Howard said, well, let's try to design something. He could try to design something. You know, your appetite... Is uh, it's pretty great. I mean, <laughs> you got, you, you're going to need a bigger house. <laughs> yes, I tell you, you, you'll be amazed. Now you got to give me a plan so we can help you start designing this layout. Yes, because it's uh, your structures are going to be huge. Yes, for the all right. Scale. So you want now we uh, we'll start from scratch on uh, the sketch pad. Normally I just build a son of a gun, but we'll see. Yeah, let's go and what? Go see the pad you're using here is a simple. No simple graph paper. Graph paper. Okay, now, do you want a perspective drawing or elevations first? Well, it's going to be on a flat on my layout. Um, okay, well, we'll start with elevation. Okay, we'll start with the forward ele front elevation. Well, Howard, this is the front view. Well, getting there. we're going to make this a little different. I'm just working. This is a very, very rough sketch. Again, I don't use a straight edge. Mm-hmm. And I have arthritis in my hands, so I'm not as steady as I used to be. So please forgive that. It's beautiful. I... Now, anytime you do a window in a sketch, it's always best just to rough it in like a little shading like that. Mm -hmm. All the windows up here. And when you have a roof, it's always best to do some shading in here. So this uh, overhang this way. The light's coming this way. Mm -hmm. There's your light, so you want to shade it this way here. Mm -hmm. Now over here, we're going to have a, just do what you, know, you do one elevation at a time. You don't try to plan the whole thing at once. Mm -hmm. When the elevation looks good, then you go to the next elevation. And this will be a rolled roof like I always use. This will be mm -hmm. down here like that. Okay. Now here, there'll be two doors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the doors, you have to leave room for the track. Oh, shit. Now, the key to these things, you have to have a lot of light. So we'll put a lot of windows in the doors. Mm -hmm. How we're going to do it, I'm not sure yet, but we're going to start like this here. By shading, you get more, it gives you more of a 3D effect so you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Sort of like building a mock up. Well, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see. And, uh, okay, side view okay. of this thing here. I just put, again, this is very, very fast. Yeah, this will be dark in here. Okay, side view. Well, let's take it on a page. page. Okay. This is not the scale, of course. Because this thing's pretty long to swallow up one one day. Oh, shit, dude. Give me that friggin' phone. We keep it real, folks. All the pest sales calls that come through here. Unbelievable. Now we're running about 15 a day. They call you up. Hey, do you want a discount on your funeral expenses? I'm like, what kind of bullshit is that to call somebody in their 80s with a phone call like that? You, you, people get have no couth, no manners. Well, it's a business they're in. I've paid to do that shit. Quite frankly, I... 
I'd like to have five minutes with one of these son of a bitches. I guarantee he'll quit his job. Manners, they, they, they don't know what the word manners are. Okay, this is the overall size. Now, mm -hmm. over here, we're going to start with the, uh, the cupola, cupola, which is going to have a lot of lights. Now, the other side will be shorter. This will be the long side, so you can put your Allegheny in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, these will, from, these will be windows in here. Oh, you get the idea. Okay, here, I'm going to come up here. This will be the roof. Okay. Now, over here, this will be the... Um, stone. The, I think stone will look really nice. Okay, put the trim. Trim here. Now, we want to make this... Uh, do a center line over here. That means center line. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we'll put the, uh, we'll start with a window in the center. And down to the stone. Now we're going to carry the stone on the inside too. So then we'll put another window here. You really want as much light in here as possible. Right. Plus, you want people to be able to see yeah. in. Now, with a center line here, just because this son of a gun like that. Must be getting old on using son of a gun instead of son of a bitch. Mm. Yeah. You think that's too many windows? Uh, I don't know. I don't. Well, I'm going to put a strip down like this here, mm -hmm. between the windows. Now, what we're doing here is it'd be enough to build the thing with. This is not a complete rendering. Mm -hmm. This is a, a five-minute sketch. Give us enough to launch building yeah. it. Oh, yeah. That's all you need. Now, the other side would just be a shorter, shorter, a sh version, shorter of this. version of this mm -hmm. on the other side. How many smokestacks would something like this have? Um, there'll be a one on each side, or two, two on each side. Mm -hmm. Probably in the center as well over here. Going back here. The locomotive goes in this way, it's covered. If it goes in that way, it's covered. So you need four stacks. Mm -hmm. Okay, there it is. That's it. That's it. Beautiful, Howard. It's not beautiful. It's terrible. It would look beautiful. Mm. Well, I'm going to run downstairs in the layout room and show you just a couple of videos, if it's okay, Howard, of some oh. of the other past engine houses. Oh, sure. Howard, I appreciate it. Yeah, we can build this for any time. Yes. Mm. A so. splendid, beautiful building. And, folks, let me pause it. Now, let's run downstairs and show you a couple engine houses on the layout. Well, we're downstairs on the layout just to show you some of the two stall engine houses. He's, Howard's got a lot of roundhouses, but we're just taking a look at a couple of the uh, two or three stall engine houses, car repair sheds, and here is one of them. A little Obviously, this one's considerably different than the one that we just drew up. Let's look at a few more. Here's another. This is a brick design. It's not a wood design. 
but it gives you a little bit different uh, perspective. Interesting smokestacks on this. Here's a stone one. I'll have to ask Howard. I believe this is an old kit uh, of a manufacturer that no longer makes uh, the kit. I'll have to ask Howard when we look at the video what that is. It's a beautiful presentation. Here's another interesting design, and if you watch my channel, you'll see that uh, we have shot quite a few videos coming out of this particular engine facility, and uh, just so happens this one has a, a diesel fueling facility right in front of it. Very, very impressive. Just one has to decide, would you rather have a brick structure or a wood structure, or both? We're ending the video and we're interview Howard one last time, but this is probably my favorite personal engine house on the layout. And it looks very similar to the drawing that uh, we're working on upstairs. And I like the color palette of this. I think I may go with this uh, white and gray color palette. And perhaps instead of rolled roofing, I might do shingled roofing. It's one of those things that I would have to make a decision on once we come to that time. That's the fun of it. And uh, another beautiful, interesting. Comes out one in the back and two in the front. Well, let's go talk to Howard for a final word on these engine houses. Well, Howard, to end the video downstairs, we, we videotaped some of the brick engine houses and some of the uh, wood engine houses. I saw one two-stall engine house down there that was stone. Was that an old kit? It was an old uh, stone. The one in, uh, in Albright? Yeah, yeah. That was a kit. Well, uh, kit bashed. I bashed two together. Wow, that looked really cool, too. It wasn't bad. Yeah, I so. forgot who made that, but it was, it was okay. Well, well, Howard, I really appreciate it. And All right, let me show you something, though. Yeah, now, let's take a look. We had a, a client here before. He just left. He wanted a structure, mm -hmm. which was the, uh, the lumber yard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's take a so look. So here's how it worked. Let's it, see. This this one right here. Yeah, this one here. So what I'm doing now is just, rather than drawing on paper, here are the elevations. Front elevation, this is open. Mm -hmm. That's open. This is a, that's the second, that's the second story. This will be the level floor level mm -hmm. uh here's the back loading upper loading down mm -hmm. this will be solid mm -hmm. here's the side of the building over here and here's that side which will be blank because the office goes over, over here right this will be sort of like a lumber yard hardware store and this is in ho scale ho yeah now here i already started building the damn that's fast side. howard this will be the uh that'll be the door oh wow that's gonna fit well, I, haven't, I haven't drawn it out yet. Entrance. Uh, I have all my materials here. I got my doors, windows, everything I need. So all I have to do is just build this thing, brace it. Mm -hmm. And the hardest part will be making the wood piles. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, we'll do uh, that. But Howard, your your ponytail's about two inches longer today. I wish my something else was two inches longer. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to get in. <laughs> well, Howard, thank you for the interview. I appreciate it. Oh, you're quite welcome. All right. We'll see how that works.